Hi, it's Indiegogo time again, and yes, it's water from air. You remember, um, previously we've done the Fontus, of course, we've done the uh, Water Seer, which uh, Popular Science actually uh, promoted, I'll link these videos in, and of course Fontus went bankrupt, and of course Thunderfoot's also covered uh, water from air devices, including the Fontus, and uh, including the uh, this zero mass water one um, here, which is like both of these are the Fontus and the zero mass water. These are both like solar powered systems. They're dehumidifiers. They extract water from the air, from the humidity in the air. And yes, these things are real. And yes, these things work. In fact, um, they're called atmospheric water generators. Here it is here. And there's two major types. There's uh, compressor types that uses like a regular compressor uh, based system. And there's the other major type is the desiccant uh, based system, which uses uh, those little desiccant satchels, you know, do not eat um, uh, thing. They use those and they heat those up and you can actually extract the moisture uh, from that way and they both have their uh, pros and cons but here we go we have a one million dollar indiegogo campaign the cara pure make pure water from the air 10 liters of fresh drinking water daily they have to say it's the world's first air to water dispenser of mineralized alkaline water because of course this is nothing new here's a company here that make them perfect for your life here you go future of water air to water technology uh, mobile h2o generator pulls drinking water from air for off-grid nomads the water gen you know sits in the back of your ute or whatever generates 20 liters of drinking water per day and um it only takes oh, 350 watts that produces noise level of like um <laughs> 52 dba so yes these things are real so this is not a debunking video these things are real you can extract water from the air but it's just an incredibly dumb way to get water i don't know how 620 people were convinced that this was a good idea to spend not 599 us dollars oh no that's only an installment plan no 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 the full one is 1800 us dollars oh a bargain it's normally 3500 48% off a million aussie bucks 622 people backed this thing and here it is like it's a funky looking um <laughs> extract water from the air but one of the as you'll see one of the main selling points of this is that it's filtered water not just filtered it's high ph ooh, alkaline and then filtered through special minerals and things to give you extra minerally seven mineral enriched um 9.2 plus ph water um and it can do 10 liters per day or so they claim and it's a real thing they're real prototypes it's producing real water and they'll probably deliver the thing unless they got you know a production hiccups or whatever so this is not a debunking this is like just going through why you would want to do this it's just it's just dumb so let's have a quick listen shall hi. we hi my name is cody sardine hi, i'm an cody. architect and i'm passionate He's about bringing architect. clean drinking water to the world the world is facing droughts bacteria outbreak just poor no. infrastructure our groundwater yep. is just contaminated yep, or depleted it's a, it's and a big deal in lots we need of places. to find a new way to provide drinking water to people around the world who really need it so that's a noble goal you certainly can't fault him for that we do have uh, like water crises in many parts of the world it is like a real big deal people uh, die uh, countless people die from not having access to fresh water but something tells me you're not gonna solve those problems by selling a 1800 buck us or 3500 retail um, a drinking fountain to extract water from the air. Don't think that's going to do it. Carpure is a water dispenser that can make up to 10 liters per day of drinking water straight from the air. It has 9.2 pH oh, alkaline, she looks happy. and an Look alkaline environment can reduce the acidity in your body. And most bacteria can't live in an alkaline environment. It's one of the best water qualities that you'll find the best. anywhere. By using Carpure, you'll reduce the amount of plastic water bottles that you use in your home. Carpure uses something called a desiccant. It's like a volcanic rock, and it naturally can capture water from the air. There's other technologies out there that use refrigerants, like what's in your refrigerator, to cool the air. And it's really, really bad for the environment, and it's just really clunky and loud, and it's not a very practical solution for your home. The technology that we have in Carpure is silent, and it's naturally better silent. for the environment because it's a natural component. It's a water dispenser, a really that looks powerful like a fan air to purifier, me. and also like a, a strong dehumidifier. Silent? All packaged into one really mm. beautifully designed product.
As an architect, design is really important to me. So Car Pure is for anyone who just really wants to know that their drinking water is safe. People who have bacteria in their well, who live in a drought-stricken area, or just have really, really bad city water that they just can't stand. People who have seen this are just super excited to understand that this isn't a science fiction technology, it's a real thing, and that we can bring local real. drinking water to people all over the world right in their home. So as you saw, pretty slick campaign. So you can see why 620 uh, backers were um, sufficiently convinced that this thing's so fantastic that they absolutely need it. So of course, this is just a desiccant dehumidifier with a mineral filter on it and a carbon uh, filter, as we'll see in a minute. Something like these, these are 10 litre to uh, per day desiccant dehumidifiers. And of course, um, they chew power. And herein lies the problem. And of course, one of the big things is up to 10 litres per day. Of course, it depends upon the humidity level, the temperature and everything else. And uh, look, we won't go into the details of that I don't care. I'm going to assume that this thing takes 10 litres uh, per day. Um, Thunderfoot's done like many like calculations of that sort of stuff. And I've done um, over here on my Fontus video, it's the latent heat equation. It's like the absolute minimum amount of energy you need uh, to get a litre of water extract from the air. And I've done the calculation here and it, I got that wrong. I think that's 90% uh, percent humidity. Anyway, it turns out you need a minimum of 250 watt hours per liter to get that sort of stuff out. So um, how much energy does this Cara Pure consume? Well, he tells us. How much energy do you need to produce the water? So it's about uh, 1.4 kilowatts per liter. So for 10 that liters, should be kilowatt, kilowatt hours. About so on... he says 14 kilowatt hours basically per day. So you're using 14 kilowatt hours per day of energy to produce your 10 liters of water. And that's using his numbers. And I'm sure they're like best case, of course. Uh, uh, like I'm sure a ton of these backers are going to get this unit and it's going to produce nowhere near 10 liters of water. And to be fair, they readily admit that, right? It's going to change depending on your, your geolocation and your humidity levels, your temperature and all sorts of factors um, come into play, right? But let's assume 10 liters per water per day for your 14 kilowatt hours. 14 kilowatt hours. Hmm, that sounds like a lot. Let's check my energy consumption for the 5th of February. Our consumption, we didn't use a huge amount of energy that day. Yellow is uh, the solar production, as you can see, very cloudy day. And we didn't chew a lot, but you know, typical like evening time, you know, we're cooking and we're doing, or you know, using like four, four kilowatts or something like that um, peak. And we used a total of coincidentally 14 kilowatt hours per day. So, am I going to spend 1800 US dollars for this machine? So am I going to double or add like a third of consumption per day just so I can get 10 litres of water from the air? Maybe, if I'm lucky. It could be one-tenth of that. It could be an order of magnitude less than that. Now, here's a pro tip, okay? When you buy one of these things, you're typically going to use it in a house. And houses usually have oh, this thing over here. See it? You see it? Look, 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 it's called a tap. And you already are paying for the infrastructure to have this water plumbed to your house. How much are you paying? Well, here in Sydney, uh, we pay our consumption. There's a service connection charge, of course, um, but we have a consumption charge, $2.38 for a, this is Aussie, for a kiloliter, a thousand liters. That's about 0.24 cents per litre. Hmm. So how much is the Cara Pure going to cost you in equivalent Aussie dollars? Remember, it's 0.2 cents that I'm currently paying for my water that comes out of the tap. Uh, works out to about 35 cents per litre. That's like 175 times more. You're talking more than two orders of magnitude more you're paying for your drinking water. Why? Not only that though, like why would you want to consume more energy? Like, you know, a lot of people have solar if you're in a rem remote community or something like that. You know, you don't have solar power to just piss away or you don't have wind power just to piss away, right? And on making your water, it's just, it's just nuts. It's the most inefficient way by orders of magnitude, not even close, several orders of magnitude worse than just any other method of getting your water. Like you can put it on a, fill up a truck, drive it right across Australia from one side to the other. It'd still be cheaper 
to deliver the water that way than it would be to use one of these. So here's a video doing a walkthrough of it and we can have a look at the internals of it. And it's got like a large particle uh, filter at the back. That's the 10 litre tank, stainless steel by the looks of it, nice. There is the desiccant dehumidifier. It'll have a large fan in the back of it. So I don't know how they can claim it's soil and I don't even think they have any like uh, DB uh, figures there. So yeah, unlike other dehumidifiers, they will actually give you high, low mode 38 dBA, high mode 49 dBA, stuff like that. And as the air is pulled in through the back, it'll go through the unit that makes the water and it gets exhausted out the side here. Hot air comes What's out, cool talk about, about that, that in a minute. Ta-da, we have a filter. Here is their mineral filter. Hmm, wonder if we can find this. So remember how I said like most of the marketing, this is all about how good it tastes and how wonderful alkaline water, high pH. And here they go, it adds natural minerals to the water, calcium, magnesium, lithium, zinc, selenium, strontium. <laughs> what metasilic acid? Hmm, okay, it delivers healthy alkaline water, blah, blah, blah. They compare it with all these other wanky uh, brand uh, bottled waters on the market. Well, fair enough, if you're into your bottled water, this thing might technically be cheaper but I like you don't need this machine to get it because look here it is here's the actual filter they use this is exactly the same one they cost 20 US dollars each looking by two 15 bucks each in 500 quantities so that's what they're paying for them if they're getting 2,000 uh, pieces they're only paying 10 bucks and there it is it's exactly the same filter ALK plus it's exactly the same Thing. So yeah, it's got all these little mineral beads and stuff in there. That's their wing whiz bang technology is to just buy this ALK plus filter from whoever makes it in wherever in China, I don't know. And then the other side over here, yeah. and here it is here, and uh, some people on uh, Twitter helped me uh, like uh, decode um, this, what it is here. And uh, thank you very much, Will Huang. Here we go. Um, it's like, it turns out it's a Korean brand by the looks of it. Um, and it's a silver act, it could be, we don't know whether or not it's silver activated. There seems to be some mention of silver in there. But anyway, it's basically, it's just a generic um, brand inline carbon filter. And it says rear, activated carbon filter etc etc thank you very much for the uh, translation so it looks like all they got inside this thing is those two filters they've got the mineral filter and they've got a lousy single stage filter I mean that's as basic as it gets you can buy these filters for next to nothing so here's an Australian company that has water filters for your tap. You install them under the tap. We've got one at home that does vastly better than this. So you can get like just a single stage under sink filter. These are Aussie uh, dollars. You can get them much cheaper. And these are like a, a real, like a decent uh, brand, decent company. And you can also get someone uh, like much cheaper than this system to not only install this system, but come out, service it and replace the filters every year for you. Cheaper than <laughs> vastly cheaper order of magnitude or more cheaper, several orders of magnitude cheaper than you get with this Cara Pure system. It's just like, it's a no brainer. Install one under your sink. They just don't use any power. They use the water pressure coming from the head of your mains and Bob's your uncle. And you can get like a four stage reverse osmosis filter with remineralizer, re um, a mineral filter, just like the Cara Pure one. And you can argue all oh, this brand mineral filter doesn't have selenium and zinc and this one doesn't, oh, whatever. Okay, whoop de freaking do. Okay, you can get a remineralizer <laughs> filter and a reverse, a proper reverse osmosis force multi-stage filter um, which is vastly better than just the dinky little single inline filter which they want to charge you by the way um the, let's see oh yeah thank you very much 150 bucks for your extra filter <laughs> And you can get your extended warranty as well. <laughs> the only thing to go wrong with these is your mains water pressure. That's pretty much it. Or, or the physical connection comes loose. Install one of these under your sink and you get the same water at like several orders of magnitude less cost. Why would anyone want to extract this from the air? It's, it's just so dumb. And yes, they met their stretch goal, 200,000. They smashed that five times over. So you're going to get hot and cold water with this thing. So they have to um, install an extra heater inside this thing and also um, <laughs> some sort of cooling system as well. Well, yeah, good luck with that. 
Now, because this thing is uh, consuming uh, like roughly 14 kilowatt hours of energy per day to give you your, hopefully you might get 10 litres of water out of it, maybe not, could be an order of magnitude less, who knows. Anyway, consuming a lot of power, so uh, obviously it's going to generate heat. You've got a heater in your room. It's going to actually, um, and then you'll have to, if you're in a hot environment, you'll have to use pay extra on your aircon power to cool that um, down. Let's see what he has to say about this. Interesting. That was another question I had personally. I was wondering if there's any kind of noise or any heat that's generated during the while the machine is on. That's a good question. So in earlier generations, one of the big hurdles we had to overcome was it does generate heat. So we were like, how do we prevent this from warming up the space? So we spent a lot of time engineering some, like increasing the airflow so that air will just cool it as it comes out because it hits the air twice essentially. So I, we used to have an issue with the heat and now I don't, I could stand right next to it and it's like a slightly warm air. So we really overcame that hurdle with a lot of R&D and engineering to prevent heat from building up and also just being cooled before it comes out. Magic! Just by putting in all this extra R&D effort, you can magically make that heat <laughs> disappear. Uh-uh, sorry. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> in this house, we obey the laws of thermodynamics. <laughs> oh, look, it's featured everywhere, and oh, oh there's our team. Look, I have no idea who they are. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm sure, look, they'll probably deliver something, as I said, if they don't go bust, and it'll like it'll work. It, it's, a, it's nothing complicated here. It's a dehumidifier. You put enough energy into it, you're going to extract some water out of the air. How much you get? Eh. That depends on, you know, all sorts of factors, as I said. But, um, uh, yeah, like, and the filters are just the regular filters you just buy here. If you want, you can go buy the exact same tasty filter. Mmm, here it is. I'll link it in down below if you want to go buy this filter. And you just wire it in line with whatever, um, you know, system that you want to buy um, these under sink systems and it doesn't use any electrical energy at all it just uses the water pressure head so you do get like a slower thing so it takes water head energy to push it through uh, the filter but install one of these under your sink we've got one at home you just turn the tap on and there it is there's your beautiful if you want it mineralized you add whatever mineral filter ph level wankery you want anyway that's what good marketing can do so Good luck to Cara Pure, and um, I hope they actually deliver, and I hope their backers actually get something for their 1800 bucks. But this is a good example of when you go to Kickstarter and you see a fancy product like this, just you know, put on your thinking cap and go, well, can I actually already get this somewhere existing? And yeah, the only thing this does well is filters well. It doesn't even do that, because as I said, it's only a single stage carbon filter here. That's it. Um, it's not even a multi-stage filter. So it's, in terms of filtering, it's just the equivalent of like one of these like single stage filters. And they're, they're okay. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. But like, you know, it's not some whiz-bang magical thing. It's just uh, unbelievable. So this certainly is not going to solve the uh, water crisis in the third world or any remote uh, location or anything like that. You can, you know, you can just get, like if you just capture the rainwater put into a giant tank and you can buy like just a hand pumped uh, filter. You can get, you know, one of those like just those life story things. In fact, like you can get these like high volume uh, purifiers and stuff like this that, you know, if you're in a remote location or something, a remote property, you know, you'll have your big you know, 200,000 litre water tank or whatever. And you can um, just like you don't need any power. You whack these in here and you can pump them um, through the filter and they last for like, you know, thousands of litres. Um, the Filters in these things so I, yeah there's just like there's so many options the absolute last option you want to use is to piss away 14 kilowatt hours of energy to hopefully get a couple of liters or maybe if you're lucky you'll get your 10 liters of magic um pure drinking water anyway ah oh, come on come on no please just put your thinking cap on before you hand over your hard-earned money to some slick marketing campaign on indiegogo anyway if you found that interesting give it a big thumbs up as always discussed down below catch you next time <laughs>